everybody, it's the War Hipster here coming at you with another basing tutorial and today we are doing a deserty plain plains base. Kind of like that. This is meant to represent the plains of Gur, the realm of beasts, and we are using our Vindicta painted in the colours of the Celestial Vindicators. Now I've got two things open in front of me. I've got some modelling stones, modelling gravel here in front of me, which I've just now dunked all over the painting mat. Uh, and I've also got Armageddon Dust. And well, we're gonna be doing both of these at the same time. So what we wanna do first is we wanna take some Armageddon Dust on our texture spreader. Get a decent amount of this. And you just wanna put this all over our base, just avoiding any sculpted detail. And of course, trying to avoid if possible. The miniature itself. You just want to get a nice even coat of this all over. Being really careful when we get close to those feet. Like so. And then what we want to do whilst it's still wet, you want to take a pinch of the gravel and we just want to add little piles of it by just kind of dropping it on here and there and everywhere. Like so. You can use the texture spreader again just to Move it around. Should you need to. Just like that. And then we want to leave it to dry for about an hour, hour and a half. So that's done what we're now going to do. We're going to shave this base. So we're going to do the entire area that we've just done, including the little pebbles and gravel and stuff that we've put in, but we're not going to focus on that little sculpted rock just there. So what we're going to do, we're going to make a roughly six parts contrast medium to one part wildwood mix. 
and we're also going to have Nasdrag yellow next to us. So what we do is we take our Wildwood mix on our brush and just load it up right there. And we're just going to pick an area to start basically. So I'm just going to start right here. I'm just going to start putting this Wildwood all over until basically I don't have any paint left on my brush. And like, like that. Then what we do is we wash the brush, grab some Nasdra yellow, and just where those colors meet and where they start and finish. Just wanna start adding that Nasdra yellow. Like so. Wash the brush, and go back to the Wildwood mix. Again. Just gonna make sure that we get this all over. sure that the two colors kind of meld together where possible until we get a nice kind of patchy soily desert type thing what we can do is we can wash the brush if an area is too dark or too light you can just take the opposite color so for example just in here I want to add a little bit of Nasdrag yellow around there just to add a little bit of extra warmth in like that so you should have something that looks a lot like this So with that done, you should have a base that looks somewhat like this. So what we're going to do now is just going to quickly use some Basilicarum Grey to colour in our sculpted rock. Just like that. And so with that done, what we're then going to do is dry brush the entire base with some Tyrant Skull. And so with that dry brush applied, what we're then going to do is we're going to stick a very few, very sparse tufts to the base. And these are, I believe, Mordheim tufts, so available from Games Workshop. We're just going to, and again, I'm using a little pair of tweezers just so I can easily get in and around the legs, for example. Just like that. We don't want to put loads on because, well, this is supposed to be an arid desert. So we're going to very, very sparsely add the tufts. And so with that done, all that's left to do is to colour in the rim of the base. Now you can do this any colour that you want, but I'm going to do mine in a traditional Corvus black.
And there we have it. Our Gurish Plains bases or desert bases are now finished. And they look, oh, nice and dry, but also like there was once some life there that has since been eaten by the various beasts that roam the realm of Gur. And it's a very simple, very effective scheme, and it complements the Celestial Vindicators perfectly. If you enjoyed this video, you love the channel, and you'd like to support me further, like these legends and bosses that you can see on the screen before you, you can do so. Head to patreon.com forward slash warhipster or head to ko-fi.com forward slash warhipster. Don't forget to share it, like it, comment on it, and don't forget to subscribe to the channel. And to make sure you stay up to date, don't forget to click the bell icon. Thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you all very soon in the next one. Happy Wargaming.